Hello to everyone. Today, we are going to find the best and most flexible way to make marquee effect in WordPress and free plugin GreenShift. We already have several videos about this topic, but previously setup was more complex, and currently we found better way to do this. So meet our new marquee block. Using this block is very simple. You just need to put blocks inside marquee block. Then enable animation. If you want to stop animation and add another blocks, simply click on toggle button. You can also select speed, direction, and hover logic. Marquee block is variation of container block, so all options of container are also available. Background, overlays, borders, container link, spacing, and even animations, so you have full control over design of marquee block. You can find useful to have mask border feature that will make some fading effect on sides of block. You can make not only horizontal marquee blocks, but also vertical. Setup is the same as for horizontal. Add marquee block on page. Remove placeholder block that is inside marquee. Then you need to select blocks that you want to scroll and add them inside marquee block. After this, select direction of scrolling and speed. There are few other steps to improve view of block. First of all, you should set proper size. In my case, I have 180 pixel width for my images, so I need to set up the same width in block. For height, I can set any reasonable value, for example, 750 pixel maximum height, but you can add any value. It depends on how much blocks you want to have in one view. Also, you need to change direction of border mask from left right to top bottom option. Okay, so we have our first vertical marquee section. Let's add a bit more interesting layout. For this, I duplicated existing marquee block and will put it to scroll to another direction. But before this, I need to configure proper spacing before blocks. As we put both blocks inside column, we can enable flexible align option inside column block. Now we need to set proper gap. Technically, you can use any value for gap, but maybe in my case, it's good to have the same gap as I have inside marquee block. Now it's time to set another direction for my second marquee block. Maybe also I can add some difference between two blocks and I change width of second block to be smaller. I think now it's good enough. Scrolling is fine, but maybe we can add more styles to elements. Here, where we can use another feature of GreenShift, class system. I need to use it on my parent block, so I create new class and put it to be local class, because I will use it only on this page. Now, click on class and we need to add subselector. For subselector, I will use img tag with space. It means that all inner images will use it. Then add design options. In my scenario, I will add shadow options. It's time to enjoy results and see you in next video.